what is going on you guys this is tech hd coming at you with a brand new video and this is something completely different that i never thought i would have the opportunity to review this is a 3d printer from the company flash forge and this is their latest model the creator max and we're going to be covering my experience with this 3d printer and huge disclaimer i am not a 3d printing expert or anything like that this is my first time using a 3d printer and flash forge wanted to show that this printer is designed for anyone that is interested in 3d printing and wanted to show how easy it is to set up and how easy it is to get up and running and so we're going to be taking a look at that so i just wanted to let you guys know that real quick but without further ado let's get into the video so unboxing and setting up the 3D printer was actually very easy and straightforward since the instructions was very detailed and easy to understand. The whole build quality of the 3D printer is excellent. Metal frame and the top cover and front panel is a hard plastic material. It came with a roll of ABS red material to test and practice which is nice and this offers a dual extruder so you can mix different colors and materials. You can also buy different colors and materials on the FlashForge website. The 3D printer also comes with an SD card that has some example models to print and the flash print software. On the side of the 3D printer, there is an SD card slot and a USB port if you want a hard plug into a laptop or desktop. The Creator Max also has a digital screen which makes it super easy and simple to set up and preheat the platforms and extruders. Also to level the platform is easy as well since there is a tab to do that and you have a sheet of paper to also set it up. You can also load and unload the filament, manually move the platform and extruder, check the status of the platform and the extruder, and be able to go into the settings and turn on the fan, change the language, enable the Wi-Fi, and factory reset. Then there is a print section where you can print the file directly from the SD card, and what's cool is that you can see the image of what you want to print, not just the name file. Once you select the file and start printing it, you'll see the temperature of what the extruders and the platform need to be at and then it'll start to print and you'll see at what percentage it is at completing the print, the print time and the temperature of the platform and extruders. Okay, so now I want to talk a little bit more about the flash print software. It's super easy to use. You could just load the 3D file and you have the option to view it, to move it around if you want to print more than one thing. You could also rotate the item, scale it, cut it and select which extruder you want to use. You can also add support to help with items that easily gets messed up without it. You can easily see how the 3D item is going to look like and when you're ready to print it, you can select which material you are using, the type of resolution you want to print. You can also add a wall for when there's multiple colors being used and a brim and raft and we'll cover more about that in a bit. When you save the file, it even shows you the layering process it'll look like and about how long it will take for it to print and the amount of material used. Once you save it, you could just drag the file onto an SD card, remove it, pop it into a 3D printer, and select the file and it'll start printing. So I've been testing the Creator Max 3D printer for quite some time now and I managed to print some pretty cool items, but there are some things that I wanted to talk about. First off, setting everything up and getting started was actually really easy and you could practice with the demo models that are on the SD card to make sure that everything is working and everything is calibrated properly. I then started to mess around and got some free templates to try out uh, from some websites and I printed out some pretty cool things. So like for example, I got Baby Yoda right here. This thing was really cool, one of my favorites. And then I got Pikachu and Charmander. This one's Pikachu, this one's Charmander. And they came out with pretty detailed and it was really easy to add the files onto the flash print software and to convert and save it as a GX file for the printer to recognize it. But then I wanted to try something more complicated so I got another filament, a blue PLA from Flash Forge so I could try the dual extruder. So I loaded that second filament in and found some templates to try and that's when things actually got a little bit complicated. First, when you're planning to use a dual extruder, it is recommended to have the wall enabled to help scrape oozing from the idle extruder. Then you have the option to enable either the brim or the raft. Brim increases the surface area and sticks to your heat bed much better. And the raft is a layer of plastic created under the actual object to improve the object from sticking and that makes it very beneficial when it comes to like really small objects. So like for example, what I'm printing right here. So those things are important to know depending on what you're trying to print. 
The second thing is that you are going to mess up. There's going to be a good amount of trial and error when it comes to 3D printing, of course, especially with the dual extruder. I've had some times when the extruder would stop printing midway for some reason. I've had the filament not sticking to the heat bed, so it would move and mess everything up. Even though the Creator Max can be very easy to start out, it could also get very complex like knowing the proper heat level for the extruders and heat bed, making sure that the heat bed is properly leveled, making sure that the filament is entangled, etc. I feel like the failed prints weren't because of the 3D printer, but because I didn't properly set it up. But I'm still learning and I've created some really cool things like for example, this dice. This one is one of my favorites, so this dice using the dual extruder. And then also, I got a Corsair fan plate which came out perfectly as you can see right here. And then I made uh, a Darth Vader helmet. This one is really cool, one of my favorites. And then I got a, um, I got a hood for the display of my G7 camera actually. So this one's one of the most beneficial things. These are like little props. But this one is really cool because this one I want to actually print stuff that will help me when it comes to videography and tech and stuff like that. So making a hood for a camera display is actually really cool. Now of course this 3D printer is not perfect and there's this one thing that occurred that I'm really upset about. The filament got stuck inside and it couldn't get unstuck and it happened multiple times so I needed to take it apart a bit and remove that piece that got stuck and that messed up a overnight 3D print. So this was supposed to be both red and blue and then it stopped midway because it got stuck in there so it messed up an overnight nine hour print which was really annoying not only that but the left extruder got a filament clogged and i have no way of removing it so now that extruder is useless so now i'm just left with the right extruder and i wish there was an easy way to unclog it and to prevent the filament from getting tangled from the inside the Creator Max goes for $880, which is pretty high up there, so there should be an easy way to unclog the filament, and it shouldn't be happening constantly, regardless. I think this is a mid-tier price when getting into 3D printing, and there's a lot of features with the Creator Max, like the dual extruder, a lot of cooling and ventilation, multiple ways to import the files, a digital screen to make it easier to calibrate and to select the file and to see the progress, and great build quality. But I think that issue with the filament constantly getting stuck and clogging is gonna push people away from buying this. Of course, I'm not that skilled with 3D printing, so it could have been my fault, but still. Overall, I think the Creator Max is a good 3D printer if you wanna get started, and you could easily print simple things, and using the flash print software makes it very easy to send the files to the printer. There's a lot of features, but I don't think I could recommend it to beginners due to the issue I had with mine. I want to be able to combine different colors, but I can't do that anymore. If you're more skilled with the 3D printer and is more knowledgeable with the heating and printing speed, then I would give it a try because you're more likely to have a better success than me. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do have any questions or concerns, please leave them down in the comments below and everything will be linked down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you guys can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Follow me on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. As always, Tech HD. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace! Oh, 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 oh,